area that you know faded a bit after a really good start to the tournament. So, um, you know, credit to the Sunrisers today. I thought they they squeezed us beautifully. Um, they took early wickets, and then we were always under pressure trying to play catch up. But we always felt if we could get 150 on the board, we'd be in the game, uh, particularly with the two leggies in the team, uh, and seeing the wicket slow and, and offering a little bit of turn. So. You know, to, to stack our batting today and only get 130 was disappointing and um, Sunrise has thoroughly deserved to go through. Through the season, the opening slot was shuffled a few times with Dave having a few uh, other partners. Would it have been better to have a settled combination there up front? Yeah, look, it was settled. Um, Aaron Finch didn't get dropped until I think the 11th game. So um, in terms of, you know, a settled combination, I think we did do that for the first 10 games. And unfortunately, um, Finchie didn't make as many runs as he would have liked. Um, we made the change. Uh, Josh Phillippe came in, got an opportunity. Uh, but when it got back to the, the playoffs coming around, um, we made the decision that Virat was going to open today and unfortunately didn't work. But um, Realistically, you know, we didn't really chop and change it too much cons compared to the past. It was was pretty consistent for the bulk of the tournament. It just end up being a forced change due to form. Dave, that has been a fine for the RCB and is certainly a player for the future. A word on his performance and growth through the tournament? Yeah, look, there's certainly plenty of positives in the tournament. Uh, it's not all doom and gloom. I think, you know, obviously we're disappointed to get knocked out when we had a great opportunity today to, to keep going. <clears throat> Pardon me, to keep moving forward. But um, I guess the the, the great um, sign for the future is that, you know, Padikar was magnificent at the top of the order. It's certainly a tough, uh, tough job for a young man in his first season, and he did a magnificent job. Um, he certainly he has got all the shots. Um, he played some very good knocks for us, setting us up, you know, for some big platforms. So he was exciting. Uh, Washington Sundar did a great job for us. Um, Obviously, there's Mohamed Siraj showed some signs there with the new ball uh, towards the back end of the season as well. Uh, and thought he bowled well again tonight. So, yeah, there's some very good young talent coming through and hopefully uh, they can continue to get better for us. As a coach, how difficult or easy was this IPL compared to previous editions considering all the safety protocols due to, due to the pandemic, only the three venues and possibly some of the other aspects? Yeah, look, it was totally different. Obviously, um, players being cooped up in the bubble for the 11 weeks obviously had its challenges. But I think, if anything, it brought our group together and um, our guys handled it really well. I think the camaraderie and spirit in the group was magnificent. I think it showed on the field. Um, whilst we fell away at the back end of the tournament, I think throughout, um, you know, we felt like we've made um, some strides on the previous couple of years and getting to the playoffs. Whilst we would have liked to have finished top two, it wasn't meant to be. And... Um, you know, we've got to make sure that we've learned from this experience. You know, tonight's a great, great lesson for a lot of our younger players to experience the pressure cooker of the playoffs. Um, and whilst it didn't go to plan tonight, hopefully that lesson and experience will hold them in good stead for the years to come. Final question with the next edition uh, coming up. You know, what would be the focus areas for the teams to improve as you build for the next season? Yeah, look, there's probably a few areas, like all teams. Um, you never have it 100% right. Um, I thought that, you know, at times we were very, very good with the ball um, in terms of being able to control games and, and take wickets through the middle with our spinners, particularly Chahal was magnificent for us taking wickets. And then we saw tonight, having Zamper in the team as well, um, how he was able to get us back in the game with his spell. Um, and I think the young quicks certainly showed a lot, obviously, Saini and Siraj and, and these guys. Um, unfortunately, we lacked a little bit of experience in the pace department tonight with uh, Morris being injured. Um, so from that point of view, you know, there were some good signs there. I think from, from the big improving point of view, you know, we need to get more out of our batsmen, um, probably in that middle to lower order. And just the consistency, which is never easy for those roles. They are tough roles to play when you're coming out under pressure and trying to find the boundary or score at 10 and over. So, you know, we've given a few of the guys good opportunities throughout this tournament to see what they can do. And um, hopefully that will continue in the, in the future. Coach, thank you so much and wish you the very best. Thanks very much. You. You. We have Jason Holder from the Sunrisers Hyderabad to address this press conference. Jason, a step closer to the finals and the winning run continues for you. How's the morale in the camp and how has the team kept itself so positive at a time when it possibly faced a few difficulties? 
Yeah, the morale in the camp is very good at the moment. Obviously, we've done really well at the back half of this tournament. You know, I think we've peaked at the right stage of the tournament and we're carrying some really good momentum. Um, it's just important the guys keep stepping up. Um, it's been really good as a, as a unit. And, you know, different guys have been putting their hands up on different occasions and we've been able to get to this point. You know, I think with one more big effort, you know, we'll be definitely into the final. Rashid Khan is the leader of your attack, but it's impressive to see how the likes of Sandeep, yourself and Natarajan have also combined and rolled well as a unit. While most teams have players with express pace, can you share the strategies that you go through when you bowl at a medium pace and you vary your pace? For me, it's all about um, execution, you know, something that we already preach in our dressing room is executing. I think once we have solid plans, and then more or less, you know, you just go to execute your plans. Um, we've had lots of discussions at length about, you know, what we want to do to certain players. And then in, in the heat of the battle, you know, it's all about executing. And I think we've done an outstanding job in executing, led by our bowlers, you know, everybody has really put their hand up. And, you know, we've used our skill and our brains. Can you tell us a bit about what tweaks you have worked on to get your skills working in high ball cricket, especially T20? Yeah, for me, I've just had you know more overs in the nets. Um, I've had a few injuries in the last last couple of years that have really hampered my preparation. You know, I wasn't able to bowl as much in the nets. Uh, I had a bad shoulder. I had a surgery on my elbow as well too. So um, it's good to have the body you know back in, in good shape, and I've been able to you know um, obviously work a little hard at practice. You know, fine tune my skills and you know just get that mental confidence going into the into the game. So. I think I'm in a really good place at the moment and you know more or less for me I just think so deeply about executing. I think execution is all about you know having a clear mind, you know being calm under pressure and I'm more often than not you know you execute. How much was Saha missed in this game considering he's been instrumental in the last three wins for the team and this game went down to the last over. Also is there any word on his fitness at the moment? I'm not sure about his fitness to be honest. Uh, you know Saha has done really well for us after coming back into the team. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to lose him, but I think we've got adequate replacements in the group. You know, Gazi didn't get any runs today, but, you know, he's one guy who's been around for a number of years and we back him to execute. Um, yeah, just unfortunate how it went today for him, but, you know, we'll continue to back him because that's the kind of franchise that we are and, you know, the coach has given each and every one of us, you know, the courage and, and encouragement to go out there and really perform our roles for the team. The team bowled a top spell with centre tone for you. You got wickets up front as well, including that of the big fish, Virat Kohli. Uh, what were your strategies against a power pack batting lineup like that, especially against Virat and AB de Villiers? I think the the dynamic of our ball and attack, you know, we've got skill. Um, Sandeep comes in and swings it, you know, myself, I've got height, bounce, you know, a bit of movement as well too. And then Nataraja just comes in and he's very, very, very subtle with his variation and, you know, he's consistent as well. Um, I think it's a really good balance, you know, we've got the left arm, uh, left arm seam, and then we've got obviously Sandeep who's a little shorter, swinging, and then obviously, obviously got myself at six foot seven, you know, coming in with some bounce and, and, and movement as well too. So I think it's a really good balance, you know, and then we've got a world-class player, Rashid, Rashid Khan. And then Nadim is obviously definitely fitting to our attack quite nicely. He's came in. I think David has really used him really well in the tournament, and we've been able to see the best in the team, you know. And I think he was a little unlucky today as well. Um, his figures probably don't suggest how well he's bowled, but more or less, you know, he's done an outstanding job for us, particularly in these last couple of fixtures that we've had. And finally, you're playing Delhi Capitals in Qualifier 2 next. They have quite a good bowling attack with Kagiso Rabada, Andrik Nokia, bowling at 150 plus, and a spin attack led by Ashwin. From a batting perspective, how do you look at the challenge that they will provide in Sunday's important game? I think we don't play names, you know, we just got to see what the conditions will present. Uh, be as confident as we have been in this tournament so far, continue to, to hit our straps and execute. You know, I think what we've done really well, particularly batting, is being aggressive definitely up front. Um, you know, David has obviously led the charge, you know, well supported by Saha. Uh, when he came in, Johnny's done an outstanding job. You know, Manish Pandey has come in and really kept the momentum going. And then you've got that calm, you know, level headedness and Kane in the middle. You know, again, a really good balance for us in the middle and it's been good to, to come in at the very end and, and finish games off, you know. And, you know, you see guys like Abdul Samad who hasn't had, you know, a major opportunity so far in this tournament, or hasn't had a major impact. But when you see the, the way he strikes the ball, you know, it gives us depth in our batting as well too. And obviously someone like a Rashid Khan who hasn't had a knock yet. So, look, we don't play names. Um, we see, see the ball, we play the ball and, and just play cricket on a particular day. Jason, thank you so much and wish you the very best for Sunday. Thank you.